are back here for our main event. Already in the ring is Cesar, the Rattlesnake Olguin. He is from Grand Junction, Colorado, weighing 144.7. He has a record of nine, three, and one. Entering the ring in the blue trunks there, Raul El Chino Carrillo. 10 and one in his record, six knockouts, weighs 144.4. Chino, the chant comes up, the hometown favorite. Yeah, this kid is okay, phenomenal. Match Scheduled for match eight rounds here. Before we get started, we will be singing the national anthems from Mexico and the United States. First to lead us off singing the Mexican national anthem, Latin performing artists, and your own local Longmont Latin artist, Janet Utahara. <laughs> El acero apresta y el ruido y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the back for a well, we welterweight battle between Cesar the Rattlesnake, Old Queen, Old Queen again at 9-3-1 against Raul El Chino Carrillo. And he is in the blue trunks. Carrillo is from Longmont, Colorado. Old Queen from Grand Junction in the white. Referee immediately taking charge here, John. Not going to allow that kind of stuff. Well, he just pushed him. He's just a stronger fighter. Mm -hmm. So he just wanted to bully him. Let's make it a fair match. Raul's a phenomenal fighter. I got the opportunity to watch him train quite a bit. And this kid's got it. He's got the whole package. Cesar with a couple of nice shots to the body there, though, in that clinch. Yeah, Cesar's a phenomenal fighter. I mean, don't get anybody wrong. That kid can fight. and butter and he's been doing it in practice quite a bit so I'm looking to see the one two over the top and then uppercut coming right up right down the middle it's a good shot for him you can tell he's fighting in front of his hometown so he's a little nervous wants to show it make an exciting yep. show plenty of fans here Chant his name, want to see him do well, his nickname, I should say. Yeah, El Chino. Well, he got caught with a two over the top on that one, but he just needs to stay within himself, don't reach. I was gonna say, Old Keen is though, staying right in this bout. <laughs> yeah, Caesar's still hanging great. Caesar's got talent. Caesar just got caught with that left hook. He's got to keep that right hand up if Caesar, otherwise Caesar's going to get caught by Raul. In the clinch, referee breaks him up. Carrillo, as we near the end of round one, 
Both fighters getting some shots nice. Yeah, that's good counter. To end round one, we'll be back with round two of the scheduled eight round bout after this. Getting ready here for round, round two. two. I'm Michael Rail with John Dykeman sitting ringside for a very nice battle between Raul El Chino Carrillo from Longmont, Colorado, and Cesar the Rattlesnake Olguin from Grand Junction. And both fighters in the middle of the ring right now, John, trading punches. Yeah, they're this is an exciting fight. They're both they're both top level fighters. Well, they're throwing a lot of punches. Not all are connecting now. Well, yeah, they're starting to settle down. And Caesar landed a good jab and landed, tried to finish with his two, but uh, Raul was able to counter that with his jab. But it's it's going to start making the they're going to start making a great fight here in just a few minutes. Plenty of action. Yeah, plenty of action. These boys are going at it. Okay, we're scheduled for eight. That one stuns Olguin a little bit there, and again and again. From Carrillo, Olguino trying to counter back. Well, Raul's, Raul's smothering him a little bit on his punches, but Caesar's coming in hard. He knows he can take away his power if he gets in close. Because Raul can punch pretty hard. Another one. Raul's on the rope, he's trying to set up that uppercut. And that's what he's looking at. Chino's looking at trying to get that uppercut. The crowd's chanting El Chino right now because he has just put a licking on Caesar, but Caesar countered back, yes, putting him in the corner. Crowd trying to give him all the energy they can. Cesar with a couple of punches in there, but countered right back again by Raul. Yeah, Caesar. Oh, a couple of good shots there, though. Yeah, Caesar's, he's hanging in there great. He's he's brushing them punches off. He's catching them. They call it parrying, but he's parrying, he's parrying that right hand, but that right hand's getting closer and closer by El Chino. Well, Cesar, if he can, is looking to counter to the body. He is. Cesar's trying to get to the body. He's trying to slow Raul down because he knows Raul's in good shape. Raul came out hard, strong, and Raul's a strong fighter. Now, now Cesar just switched to southpaw. Maybe to give Raul another look because he might Absolutely. be getting caught with that right hand. Nearing the end of round two. Another nice round for Carrillo. We'll be back with round three after this. Back here for the start of round three. Carrillo in the blue. Hometown favorite. Olguin in the white. Yeah, Caesar switched to southpaw, which is gonna give, which is gonna give another look to Raul, but he's been susceptible to that right hand already. So the yeah. problem has been when you switch southpaw, you give up that right hand. So and yeah, I said I was gonna say it hasn't exactly been all that effective. Yeah, he, it's, he's obviously getting his jab off better, but he's he's allowing that right hand he's of Raul's up. Yeah, to allow. He's yeah, giving up too much. He just landed it again. I mean, this is the fourth time he's landed this round, and we just started it. Now he switched back to conventional. Just missed there on the left again. Yeah, Raul's finally settling down. Oh, that one stunned him. Nice Got right him hand. Got him in that one. Yeah, he caught him with a... Caught Caesar with a, a fake jab and he finished with the two. So nice shot. But he's standing up straight. Caesar's having a tendency to throw his punches and straighten his legs. 
And he's just got a nasty cut on him. Above his left eye, he is clearly bleeding a lot. Carrillo knows that. Yeah. Raul's gonna try and capitalize on that on that left eye by now he switched back to southpaw. Caesar did because he knows that left eye is. Yeah, he's got to protect. Cut. Yeah, he's got to protect that left eye. It's, oh, oh my goodness! Did he take a shot? Yeah, Shook but it Raul, off. Raul didn't close his fist on that one. That was a trip. That's just a trip. No knockdown. Guys just caught their knees. Yeah, good sportsmanship. They're both just professional fighters. So A lot of getting, action. Yeah, Caesar's still getting caught with that right hand, and he switched back to conventional, which he was actually more a little more effective as a southpaw. Staying in the middle of the ring, though. Both fighters know they don't want to get caught. Take any chances here late in this third round. Yeah. Oh, again, that Raul. left. Raul's going for the knockout punch. <laughs> so, that well, that'll round. bring the ring doctor, that's for sure. End of three rounds. We'll be back with the fourth round after this. We are back here to start round four. Both fighters right in the middle of that ring. The battle on. Raul Carrillo again in the blue. El Chino from Longmont, front of his hometown crowd. Another good shot. Looking to reopen that cut above the left eye. Right at the eyebrow, and he has. Cesar. Yeah, Raul's using his jab a little more often this round. Uh, again, again, another good jab. Yeah, he's he's got a terrific roll too, but seems like he's finally using that jab a little bit more this round, which is what makes him much more effective. Olguin is bleeding again right above that left eye. But he has a lot of urgency, obviously. Good combinations again, John. I thought it was just a push down, yeah. Yeah, road trip, no big deal. I'm actually surprised in boxing you don't see more guys tripping and falling down. Well, they accidentally step each on, on each yeah. other's feet, and you know, everybody's surprised you don't go see down. it more often, really. Caesar's hanging in there. Caesar's a really good fighter. I'm very impressed with him. I love the fact that he can switch back and forth. Both fighters staying in the middle. Not, not too many clinches have we seen in this fight. Yeah, you know, I would really like to see Raul go two to the body, three to the head, because it's, it's there. He keeps wanting to throw that right hook, uh, Caesar does. And you know that, that shot would be available. And now the corner thinking like you. For Carrillo, talking about work the body of Olguin. Yeah, you can hear Raul in the corner yelling at him, use that jab, use that jab. Raul's effective when he uses that jab. Ten seconds. Nearing the end of the round here. Lots of action. Both fighters gonna make it through though. Info. So 
Well, there you go. At the end of round four, we'll be back with round five after this. And we are back here just ahead of round five. Raul El Chino Carrillo, hometown boy from Longmont, controlling this fight over Cesar Olguin from Grand Junction. Both fighters are getting their shots in. Clearly, though, El Chino has had the better of this match. Yeah, he really has. He's been kind of, he's won the last few, four rounds. Got that combination in, John. But Caesar's hanging in there. He's, he's staying in tight. He knows the lesson the power if he stays inside. Yeah, Raul's, what Raul's doing right now is he's just countering off of, of Caesar's punches. Caesar's kind of lost his power, he's lost yep. his spunk. So now Raul can relax a little bit and just pick him off. Yeah, he's just countering anything now as he leads in on that. Yeah, nice. Carrillo able to get those jabs in there. Yeah, he's so effective when he uses that jab. Olguin trying to counter. Well, Caesar's hanging in there, but he just keeps getting caught. He switched southpaw now. And I tell you, that's a little more effective for him. Kind of helps him, but it sets him up for that right hand. Gonna go eight rounds. Scheduled for eight, I should say. A lot of action in this welterweight yeah, battle. Yeah, they're going, they're going at it right now. Raul's gotta use that jab. Use that jab more and more and more. Well, King having some effect with his jab as well. Yeah, but season. not as powerful. No, but Caesar's using his jab to keep him off him, and Raul's going for that big punch. He just needs to set that jab up. There you go. When Caesar turns. Entertaining bout coming to the end of round five. A slip from El Chino, no knockdown. That is the end of five of this back and forth bout. We'll be back with round six of eight scheduled after this. We are back here. Round six, scheduled for eight. Olguin is in the white trunks, Carrillo in the blue. John, you want Carrillo to stay. Oh, that's a good shot there by Olguin. Well, it's a little bit of a headbutt, but yeah, that was a great butt. shot. Okay. That's a good shot there as well. Yeah, they're on the on the ropes now, just going right at it. Good combination there. Yeah, they're going at it. Caesar's really bringing the fight to Raul. Oh, that knocks out the mouthpiece. Caesar without his mouthpiece now. Chino. Yeah, that was a good shot. Caesar's a little rock. Caesar's hanging in there, though. That's tough, though, when you're trailing. You don't want to lean into anything now, but you've got to be the aggressor in the last two rounds, yeah, three rounds. You've got to give him his mouthpiece. They're going to get him his mouthpiece yeah, back. Use your jab. So we'll take a break there. 
gives me a chance to thank Ghost Town Promotions, Longmont Boxing Club, Coors Brewing Company, TCS Concrete, Delicioso in Longmont, South Maine, and the Longmont Athletic Club where this fight is taking place. Midway through the sixth. Mouthpiece back in. Both fighters trying to work that jab to set up more though, John. Yeah, Caesar's a good fighter. You can tell he's he's a hell of a fighter. Good, good work. Oh, I tell you what though, they're getting some hooks in both fighters, especially. Yeah, they're going Padilla. at it. They're both game, that's for sure. Caesar's not he's not backing down, that's for sure. Raul's got to use that jab. Well, like you said, Olguin is just not going to back down in this fight. He's staying right no, he's, there on Carrillo. He's staying Carrillo. right there. Yeah, he's, he's staying tight. Caesar knows, stay real tight, keep the power away. Yeah. Stays in tight, he doesn't have to deal with Raul's big shots. And he's being effective right now. Yeah, much better round there. Very sure. even round there. End of round six, scheduled for eight. Round seven upcoming after this. Oh, the power. Back here. Round seven, scheduled for eight. Nice job right now. Yeah, they're going at it now, baby. Well, Olguin has a lot more confidence now after a couple of pretty good rounds. Yeah, well, his last round, he definitely won that last round. He knows, I think he figured out Raul that Raul's really trying to load up on his shots when all he's got to do is just set, use that jab. Rio looking, another good jab, couple of good jabs there. Good jab there by Olguin. Yeah, Caesar's hanging in there. Caesar, nice right hand by Caesar. Yeah, they're both getting fatigued right now, but Caesar's hanging in there. He's standing up against the ropes. He's, got, getting, he's landing that jab over and over again. Tell you what, Caesar looked as though that, this was going to be a short match and he was going to go down early in this bout. Yeah. But he has really come back sure against has. Raul. Yeah, Raul's hanging tough. Oh, he sure is. <laughs> He's getting plenty of shots in. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, they're both trying to land a punch that will negate the whole thing. We got to get Raul using that jab to set up his punches. Both, they're both trying to land the biggest shot they can. Yes. But both smart enough fighters, as you keep saying, John, to stay close so they can't be caught by that. Well, Uppercuts is what they're looking for right now. Yeah, they're looking to work the body and come up with a shot, try and offset, counter that left hook. Cardillo, though, taking back this round a little bit, isn't he? A little bit. He's got caught with a left hook, though. Yep. Able to get away from that Nine one. Seconds. Nearing the end of round seven.
That's the bell ending round seven. So we'll keep it right here. John Dykeman and Michael Rail, we are ringside. Gone through seven rounds here, John, and it's been very exciting. Both fighters landing their punches. The rattlesnake, he's been game. He might be trailing now in points. Really has to come out here. So real quick, what does he have to do here before we talk about El Chino and what he has to do in this eighth round? What about the rattlesnake in this eighth? Well, this, this has now become a pretty even fight. I think the best thing that we could do, especially from Caesar, is just stay in the inside and use those counter shots. But if he allows Raul to use his jab and set up his two, then it's gonna get, you know, Raul's gonna take this fight. Well, now, that's the thing. What does Raul do here in this eighth round? Raul's gotta keep his jab on it. He's got the fight one, but he needs to keep that jab, keep him outside and really land that two and set up that left hook. Here we go, start of the eighth and final round. Very entertaining battle. Honestly, the rattlesnake has got to have the knockout, it would look like, to win this bout. Both fighters throwing punches like crazy right now. Well, yeah, you got to understand, Caesar's got 24, 23 fights, so this kid's, you know, he's a, he's been there. Raul's only got 10 fights, so he's hanging in there. I mean, this kid's a veteran. Yep. He's, saying, he's no slouch. able to stop that lead, which has not been a factor, that cut above the left eye the last couple of rounds. Yeah, he's got a good corner, man. I tell you what, they're both laying jabs, hooks, hooks, and right hands. <laughs> uppercuts. Yeah, they're they're both landing their they're punches. Both, yes, they are. Yeah. Well, Caesar just got caught with the right hand, but he's game. He's he's staying in his conventional stance. Uh, lost the mouth guard again. They have to take that time out. Send him back over to the corner. No, that was Caesar. He, he knocked out Caesar's. I'm sorry. Yeah, C Caesar lost his. Yeah, that's mouth the second guard. time he's lost. Second that. time he's lost it. All right, here we go again. Olguin in the white, Cardillo in the blue. And both, both fighters, Sean, have not let down an inch in no, this fight. This is a great fight. I mean, this is this is what you want. You and I are lucky to be sitting right yep. here. Nice left hook. Yes. Nice by Raul, oh, again. He knocked, the, knocked the mouthpiece out again. In the clinch, trying to stay close, John. Yeah, Caesar lost his mouthpiece again with a nice uppercut, and Raul just needs to stay on him, stay, keep that jab on him and set up that two. Try and land that uppercut when he gets in the inside, but Caesar's hanging tough. Well, he keeps landing that uppercut, that jab. Well, Caesar's a veteran. He knows how to fight with or without a mouthpiece, and he knows how to keep the damage to a minimum when he's in the inside. But when he's on the out, he's getting caught, especially when Raul comes in. Now the bloody lip as well for Ogi. Raul got caught with a jab right there with his hands down, but Raul just landed another uppercut. Caesar just got tagged with an overhand right. Nearing the end of this fight, both fighters expect a flurry now. Here we go. Five seconds left in this fight. There we go. That's the end of this bout. Great, great fight. That was, that was likely going to go again i'm unofficial of course in everything i do but i like raul el chino Carrillo over cesar the rattlesnake Olguin. we'll get the official call though from our judges and again our judges are ed kugler tyrone short and steve waldman while we wait 
again want to thank Ghost Town Productions, the Longmont Boxing Club, Coors Brewing Company, TCS Concrete, Delicioso's Restaurant in South Longmont, and our venue here, Longmont Athletic Club. What an excellent job done here tonight by Raul Utahara. 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 Utahara has done a really great job. As the main promoter, I know you helped him with it. Utahara and Dykeman both deserve a lot of credit. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it, Raul's phenomenal. So here we go. You can hear the crowd yelling, Gino. I think the hometown people will be happy here. Oh, they sure will. Good job, gentlemen. Good fight. Good sportsmanship. That was a very entertaining battle for yeah, very both fighters. Very good sportsmanship. Still awaiting the decision coming up into the ring. Bit of a discussion here. Here we go. Here's our ring announcer, Miguel McCoy. All right, attention in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Ed Kugler scores the bout 77-75 for Carrillo. Judge Tyrone Short scores the bout 76-75 for Olguin. Judge Steve Waldman scores the bout 79-73. Your winner. Raul El Chino Carrillo. The hometown fans show their support. But John Dykeman and I, a lot of credit to Cesar Olguin. The rattlesnake, a nice fight. Oh, great fight by Cesar. That kid is, he's a journeyman and he's a phenomenal fighter. And he gave Raul an entrance to the big leagues because he didn't falter one bit. There wasn't one time where Caesar felt like he was gonna lose. He came back every round and let him know that this was a tough fight. El Chino, Raul El Chino Carrillo though, gets that win. This is the kind of thing now, he moves to 11 and one. The kind of fight that you talked about just a second ago that he needs to show him as he continues on his professional career, the kind of guys he's gonna fight. Absolutely, he's not gonna fight any, from here on out, they get tough. And there's not gonna be any, you know, easy bouts from here on out. Bottom line is that Caesar let him know this is what it's gonna feel like the whole way through. Again, I wanna thank the ring announcer, Miguel Chile McLeese. He's been our MC here tonight. John Dykeman beside me, Michael Rail at ringside. We'll be back to wrap everything up right after this.